Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about Season 2, Episode 7 of Evil, titled S is for Silence. So this episode pretty much picks up where the last one left off, as the team is going to a monastery where there is a priest, I believe, that died and his body hasn't decayed in over a year. Watching the episode, I didn't really know what that had to do with much. It didn't really seem like they were really investigating that. It seemed like the main focus was on the nun and whatever was going on with her and then the demon that was like locked in a cabinet. So there was like three things that were pretty much going on. So there was a lot going on in this episode and the whole time they had to be silent the whole time. And it was definitely an interesting episode how they, you know, decided to make it for the most part no dialogue at all. There were only two scenes where they actually talked and I wish they would have, I wish the writers would have found a way to like make the characters figure it out without talking but they just kind of like left the monastery and went outside of it and talked it out but I, I don't know. I guess it makes sense because I don't think there was really any way for them to figure it out without talking. So it made sense for the characters because if they were real people, that's probably what they would do. They would just leave the monastery and talk it out. But it was interesting seeing Kristen kind of relate to this nun who... The nun really didn't seem like she wanted to be there. I don't know. She definitely... I was thinking there was going to be some sort of situation with her going on with, like, the other priests and people that were at the monastery, but it wasn't really anything besides flies. <laughs> it seems like the past several episodes, and honestly most episodes, it seems like Ben is the one that figures it out, and it's not like a supernatural thing and it's not a medical thing it's just like a scientific almost thing or just kind of a basic explanation for everything and that's kind of interesting how they've chosen to go on that route in the past few episodes although in this episode i'm wondering if there actually was a demon in that cabinet because the cabinet did open when Kristen, right after Kristen said boo <laughs> and it was weird how she said boo and then she put the thing over her mouth so that she wouldn't talk but I, I don't know why she did that since she already said something out loud and then there was like a skeleton <laughs> moving that was really weird I don't know what that was all about but maybe that was the demon or just another one of Kristen's hallucinations you know not much carried over in this episode from previous ones it almost like you kind of forget that Kristen just recently like admitted to murdering someone and got away with it so I don't know if that had to do with anything with this episode. I'm sure Kristen definitely had those emotions going through her head, but we didn't really get to see that. And they had the little previously thing recap at the beginning of the episode, but they didn't mention that. And the previously, it just kind of was talking about the case so that there wouldn't be any dialogue in the episode. But I don't know if we were supposed to just forget about that or not. I feel like that will eventually catch back up to Kristen, but I don't know, maybe not. Maybe they're just gonna move on from it. It is interesting in season one, like in the middle, when Leland started dating Kristen's mom, she like threatened him and stabbed his neck. <laughs> and I thought that was extreme. And then she ends up killing somebody else. So she definitely will do anything for her children. And I don't know if like, I feel like she is guilty at this point, but like she feels guilty obviously she's guilty but i feel like she now feels guilty to some extent for killing larue but i don't know how long that guilt's really gonna last i don't know if she's just gonna kind of forget about it or what but i think part of her is kind of moving on and just accepting that she got away with it but i don't know i think it will catch back up to her as well but like I said, this episode was very interesting and I think the way that it was written and directed all kind of made sense and it was definitely a nice change of pace from other episodes. You know, there really wasn't much background music either. 
so it was just a lot of quietness but there were also some like noises and stuff of things slamming around and then they did like write on little pads i don't even know what those were but <laughs> they wrote on those and showed what they were trying to say to each other but it was kind of chaotic at times especially after like the nun and some of the other people at the monastery started getting these sort of things on their bodies, you know, and then everyone was writing things and they were all in a circle and it was like upside down and Kristen was trying to get in. And I think that was the point and they were showing it so fast and I was like, wait, I can't read this, slow down. But I think that was the point because, you know, they couldn't understand what was going on just by writing really quickly and doing everything so quickly without actually talking so and then i think at that point that's when the three main characters went outside to actually talk things out but of course ben figured it out it was just flies and i guess you know i'm not exactly sure if that's the same reason why his body didn't decay i'm thinking it is it's just the flies somehow did that you know, I know that's why the people were getting those little marks on their bodies, but I don't know why the one priest, his body didn't decay, but I guess that was why too. So there were a few things in this episode I was like a little confused on just because we didn't get it talked out. A lot of the show is the three of them talking things out and kind of putting their different thoughts in and their differing opinions. So we didn't really get too much of that. Everyone was kind of doing their own separate thing in this episode and it did focus mostly on Kristen. And then we got a little bit of David and kind of both of them were kind of, you know, having thoughts about whether or not the other one has feelings for the other. And it was really funny hearing David's thoughts when he was trying to pray and just be silent. But we, I wanted to see a little bit more of that in the episode from like the other characters, but I think we only got to see, hear David or see David's thoughts in the like subtitles of his thoughts. But I would have liked to see a little bit more of that. And Ben kind of had a creepy moment like underground in the cave. And I don't, I don't really know if that was just flies. That was pretty intense, but I guess it could have just been a, that would have had to be a lot of flies because it was like darkness coming towards him. And I don't know, definitely some creepy stuff in this episode and it was intense towards the end and it did get a little violent more so than usual, but not like extremely violent, but. And we also didn't really get to see any of our other main characters like Leland or Kristen's mom or, you know, Kristen's daughters and stuff. But we did get to see one of the, the exorcist who has been in many other episodes. I forget what they call him. He's not the bishop, but he worked at the same, the same church that David was at. So that was kind of interesting that he went there and then it, they obviously couldn't talk about it. You know, David saw him and Kristen saw him and that was it. They didn't like talk it out. So we don't really know. We know that he had to leave because he was having a gambling problem, but we don't really know like what else he's doing there. It seemed like he was kind of had himself locked in a room and that was kind of weird. So I'm thinking he will have some more storylines later in the season because he did kind of have a big storyline. One episode was pretty much all focused on him. So I'm interested to see where that goes. And I'm wondering if David is going to decide to become a priest because he said, you know, he did like the idea of, you know, him being at the monastery but then at the end he decided not to do that because he said god needs him outside of the monastery which i mean i think it's true for him and i don't know but i don't know if he's going to end up becoming a priest i guess we're going to find out soon because i think he's on his last year of seminary i think and i don't know i don't know though and Kristen, i think is definitely still having some struggles with whether it be hallucinations or actual demons or whatever it is, or maybe both. 
if there even is a difference. Comment down below what you thought of this episode, what you think of season two so far, and how you like the show in general. I'd love to know everyone's theories in the comments below. Well, like, subscribe, comment, and share if you want, whatever you want to do. It's up to you. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and God bless.